Well, the design brief called for a block that is less than 95 grams, which this is, it's about 92. One-handed operation, can take a max line size of 12 millimeters, and uh, can be rigged not just one-to-one, -one. the twing line can be attached with a splicer and knot, but this spacer up in the head also turns, so as an option, it can be rigged as two-to-one. Hi, I'm Chuck Loeb, and I'm a senior design engineer here at Harkin. Today, we're down in the injection mold department, and we are talking about the 40 millimeter carbo twing block. A particular design challenge with this block was getting the ergonomics right in regard to the latch operation, while at the same time protecting the area around the latch from an accidental triggering of the, of the latch itself via an errant line passing over or some other thing disturbing the latch. The spinnaker sheet is loaded through here and then the block is closed and then it deflects down, it's pulled down with a twing line, deflecting the sheet to add tension to the leech. Besides the point from the design briefs that we've addressed, we looked at the competitor's block, which is a, a standard in the market for, for many years. And I personally, beside from the design brief, wanted to make a, an attractive looking block with nice, organic, smooth curves on it. The single-handed operation was a big deal with a spring opening. On the competitor's block, two hands are required to open it. There have a latch on there, and then it's actuated, but it requires prying the block apart to open it. There is no spring to force the two cheeks apart. This is the same material used in the carbo block, which is a 40% glass-filled nylon. Very strong, very durable. We've had years and years of experience of it, almost 25 years. Using the carbo material is a good choice for a block like this because it's subject to various abuse on the boat, smashing it in the deck. It can handle that as material, it's a tough material, and it won't mar the deck at the same time. Uh, the design brief called for a working load of around 300 kilograms. We tested this in Harkin Lab and it broke at around 1,000 kilograms. What I like about this project was it was a clean sheet approach, which most engineers enjoy and like to do. Um, there was a, a lot of uh, artistic license to make the, the aesthetics appealing. There was a lot of license to do what I thought was right for designing the latch. I think it's unique that the latch is put in this place on the block versus in the middle, which many snatch blocks and twin blocks have that operation in the middle of the block. Just designing it uh, on the computer-aided design software and getting all these curves right and then incorporating the carbo signature like the cardioid and the uh, holes around the center and then putting in the classic old Vanguard logo was, was really fun. 